In the last video, we discussed how to divide complex circuits into series and parallel connections. But in some cases, this method will not work alone. In this video, we will learn how to transform star to delta configuration and transform delta to star configuration. These transformations will help in simplifying complex electrical networks. Consider subscribing to Electrical Engineering Planet channel to support our community. Also, don't forget to share, like, and let knowledge enlighten your world. As you can see in this example, those two resistors are not parallel because they don't share the same nodes. Also, those two resistors are not parallel. Here also, those two resistors are not in series because there is another resistor in the common point. So, we need a new technique to simplify our network. To convert star configuration to delta configuration, just follow this formula. Ra will equal to R1 times R2 plus R2 times R3 plus R1 times R3 over R1, which is the far resistor. Rb will equal to R1 times R2 plus R2 times R3 plus R1 times R3 over the far resistor, which is R2. Rc will equal to R1 times R2 plus R2 times R3 plus R1 times R3 over the far resistor which is R3. To convert delta to star configuration, follow this formula. R1 will equal to Rb times Rc, which are the near resistors, over Ra plus Rb plus Rc. R2 will equal to Ra times Rc, which are the near resistors, over Ra plus Rb plus Rc. R3 will equal to Ra times Rb over Ra plus Rb plus Rc. Back to our example. These three resistors are in star configuration, so we can convert it into delta configuration. Ra equal to 24 times 120 plus 120 times 60 plus 60 times 24 over the far resistor, which is 60 ohm. This will equal to 192 ohm. Rb will equal to 24 times 120 plus 120 times 60 plus 60 times 24 over 120, which will equal to 96 ohm. Rc will equal to 24 times 120 plus 120 times 60 plus 60 times 24 over 24, which will equal to 480 ohm. Now, we have two parallel resistors, 20 times 480 over 20 plus 480 will equal to 19.2 ohm. Also another two parallel resistors, 96 times 14 over 96 plus 14 will equal to 12.218 ohm. Now we have two series resistors, so our total for those two resistors will equal to 12.218 plus 19.2, which will equal to 31.418 ohm. Now we have two parallel resistors. Those two parallel resistors will equal to 27 ohm. Our circuit now is so simple. Three series resistors. Our total will equal to 5 plus 27 plus 43, which will equal to 75 ohm. Apply arms low. I total will equal to voltage over R total, which will equal to 750 volt over 75 ohm, which will equal to 10 amps. To calculate the total power supplied, P total will equal to I total times the voltage source. So 10 amps times 750 volt will equal to 7.5 kilowatt. Let's try solving a new example. This is a delta connection that we can transform it to star connection. R1 will equal to 12 times 18 over 12 plus 18 plus 6, which will equal to 
12 times 18 over 36, which will equal to 6 kilo ohm. R2 will equal to 12 times 6 over 36, which will equal to 2 kilo ohm. R3 will equal to 6 times 18 over 36, which will equal to 3 kilo ohm. Now, 4 kilo ohm is in series with 2 kilo ohm, and 6 kilo ohm is in series with 6 kilo ohm. So our circuit now, as you can see, is so simple. 6 kilo ohm is in parallel with 12 kilo ohm, which will equal to 4 kilo ohm in series with 3 kilo ohm. So our total resistance is 7 kilo ohm. So according to Ohm's law, I total will equal to 12 volt over 7 kilo ohm, which will equal to 1.714 milliamps. You can join our course on Udemy, the ultimate DC electrical circuits course to understand DC electrical circuits. Also master solving and analyzing complex DC circuits. Also learn how to simulate circuits and how to create it practically. Use the link in the description down below. In the next video we will learn how to read a medium voltage induction motor nameplate. Consider subscribing to Electrical Engineering Planet channel to support our community. Also don't forget to share, like and let knowledge enlighten your world. Thanks for watching.